While doing my 50 hour service on my RK tractor, I found something never before shown on YouTube. I will show you in this video what I found and in the next video how to repair it. As you can hear, it's raining and I still got to put the tire on and put the seat back on and put the loader back on. But for now, we're going to get the tire back on and then check everything, get the seat back on and call it a night. Well, good morning everybody last night you saw it was raining and getting dark and hard to work in those conditions um after we got the hydraulic fluid put in ran the tractor for a little bit to make sure that the levels were good and um i noticed something after it ran for a minute it uh in the sight glass it turned like a milky white color. Okay, so this is a clip from last night. And I'm going to show you right here. Watch my left hand. And particularly the pipe that my left hand is on. And all of the pressure that I'm applying to that pipe. I got it off this one. I can just twist it. And it'll come off of there. All right. Well, that's not too bad. There it goes. Now it's on there. Now it's back the way it was. So I was a little confused. Milky white means water. And I knew it couldn't be that because we had just drained it. We had just checked everything. There was no water in the system. And it was fine before. So the next step milky white can mean is air in the system. Or a, a leak like a, uh, a hole somewhere that's causing air to get into the system. So I'm going to show you what I think it could be. And that way, if it is, you'll know exactly one of the options that you can look for. Okay, right here is the hydraulic suction screen that we removed last night. And it's connected to this tube right here. And that goes all the way to the front. There's the same tube, and it connects to the front right there. Okay, this yellow arrow right here points to the silver rectangle that I'm going to zoom in on right now. There's your silver rectangle, and the we're going to zoom in again right here. There's a bolt right in the center of the screen here. Right here, I've circled it in yellow to show you closer where the bolt is. I had to remove this in order to get the pipe out so I could check out and see what exactly was going on. Right here's your tube going across. And this is where I remove that bolt. There's a tab that's connected to this hut, this tube that goes to the front. What I think happened is that tab 
while I was pulling the while I was pulling this hose off right here I think it jostled it enough and it could have broke that line so we're gonna pull that line off and we're gonna see what what's going on with it Yeah, broke broke that loose back there where the hydraulic suction screen is. Pulled this pipe off. And now I'm gonna have to put new fluid in it. I don't have anything to cork it up. Okay, now I'm gonna try to take this pipe off for the front side. There's another zip tie holding me out. Okay, we don't want to lose that. We got the pipe out. This is the tab that I told you. Okay, so this is the tab that was holding it in the back. I took the bolt out. See right here where this tab is welded onto this pipe? I believe it's cracked. I believe it's cracked right there. That's allowing hydraulic oil or air to get into the hydraulic oil. I believe that's what it is. So I'm either going to get this repaired or have to replace the whole tube. Thanks for staying to the end. So here's your pro tip. This bolt that I told you I had to remove to get the tube out. When doing your 50 hour service, Remove this bolt before doing anything connected to this tube. That includes the hose that is connected to the hydraulic suction screen. You do not want to put any pressure on it. Also, in the next video, I will show you my complete findings. I will show you the repairs. And I will also show you a pro tip to prevent this from happening even on your own tractor so come back for the next video and watch to see how you can prevent this on your tractor